So I can't believe I'm going to even show this, but it actually it proves the scripture about using the Gentiles to make Israel, the Jews, jealous. This uh, article that just came out uh, from Jerusalem Post, well, <laughs> it proves that there's a jealousy problem going on, but it's juvenile. Um, so let me, it's regarding the uh, passing of the anti Semitism Awareness Act. So this, on the cover, they had uh, Marjorie Taylor, like, you know, for this article, they had Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates, who I believe didn't support the Anti-Semitism Act. Um, but just, this is really, this just says a whole lot. And I'm going to tell you why they're wrong with Scripture. Because, again, they're taking, they're taking Scripture like as if they would understand the New Testament. They don't. In order to understand the New Testament, really, you have to have the Holy Spirit. They only focus on the Old Testament. Again, I'm not talking about all the Jews, but I, I, the people that say we just follow uh, the Torah or the first five books of the Bible, they're not going to. They can read the New Testament, but unless they under, understand it through the true teacher, which was Jesus Christ, through the, was the Holy Spirit, then they're not going to understand it. But you just wait, just see. It is important to stress that anti-Semitism is a disease that has affected so many different societies throughout the millennia. However, Christian anti-Semitism is one of the oldest manifestations, even if it, it is most contrary to the Bible. You know what you never hear about, and it goes on. In fact, I was looking uh, the, the, the statistics up, like just all over the world, the persecution of Christians. But then the people that want to be martyrs and victims and don't want to be honest with themselves, they wouldn't really want that to be reported too heavily. They still want to be the victims. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just it's juvenile. But the most important one here is this middle one. The Christian scriptures refer to Jews as the root, no, and Gentiles as the branches. So attacking the root should make no sense as it also affects Christians who obey the word of God. Okay, so they have this. This is from Romans. Okay, I was just reading about this. I just didn't read this part. No, it's Jews are not the root. God is the root. So basically, in Romans, it talks, I believe it's Romans, because it was a continuation of how God would use the Gentiles to make Israel jealous. And, the, and, and so it uses the example of um, an olive, an olive tree and grafting in Christians to the olive tree where there's some um, natural branches left, the natural branches being the Jews and God being the root, but many of the Jews have, their branches have broken off. So in order to try to save um, some of the Jews from also being fallen branches, this is the reason God in his infinite wisdom uses the Gentiles to make Israel jealous, hoping, I would say really hoping that they will eventually see how their ego is, is what is preventing them from knowing God, which is what is, is in the way of everything. And, and, and two, that would be why, you know, when you have this big ego, you want to make yourself always the victim because then you never have to take any responsibility for anything. Okay. Um, so now, of course, their stance is that anything that doesn't, we say anything that doesn't agree with them, with, with them, that, and again, separate the people. There's many people, and there's some people, like, I don't know how many percentage, but that live in Israel, that believe in Jesus Christ, that would also understand what I'm saying. So it's not going after the entire Jewish people, but this is wrong. So what this scripture says is, is it's about making Israel jealous. And they're proving scripture right here. They're proving it. Because this is very, very, uh, this is very, first of all, it's wrong here. But do you see how it's like semi-passive aggressive? The Christian scriptures refer to Jews as the root. No. And the Gentiles as the branches. So attacking the root should make no sense as it also affects Christians who obey the word of God. Uh, so, regarding what they're talking about, Gen Gentiles being grafted in. So I asked, did they stumble in order that they might fall? By no means. Rather, 
through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their trespass means riches for the world and their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? So this is where the whole tr the tree and the branches stuff. Now I am speaking to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry in order somehow to make my fellow Jews jealous and thus save some of them. So that's what the whole point of this whole, the branches and everything. Like they don't even mention that, but that's the point of this story about the branches and the olive, olive branches. Um, for if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? So it goes on to say, but if some of the branches were broken off, and you, although a wild olive shoot, were grafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing root of the olive tree. Do not be arrogant toward the branches. If you are, remember, it is not you who support the root, but the root that supports you. So the reason it's not the Jews is because um, the many of the, the natural branches have fallen off, which is why... God's using this example to say we have to graft in the Gentiles because the Gentiles knew who Jesus was through faith, not works. And, and the other thing to understand is because it gets confusing in the Bible for people because in one section it'll say, no, you have to do the works. That what's important when to do the works is after you know the Holy Spirit. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad to do works before then, of course. I mean, it's never. it's just that usually there's a motive we have. But when, but but God does expect after being, if you want to call it being saved or understanding the Holy Spirit, that that then that's when that transformation takes place, and and then you start to change, you start to operate differently. That's when the works matter. Before then, everything, everything they do, like the ones that just believe in the five first books of the the Old Testament, they're just doing the works. It it doesn't mean anything to God because it's like God doesn't know them. They just, but this was always the problem. Even in Exodus, this is why the Israelites kept falling. They, they, they didn't, and I think this is why eventually it comes to this whole God using this example that I'm going to try to graft some people that truly understand my word in. And and here's the difference: once you do understand that the way that Holy Spirit works, you're not arrogant like this. Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think most Christians, I mean, I know there's some hoity-toity ones, you know, with the mega churches, some everywhere. But, but truly, I think that most Christians, it's like, we're just are happy to be saved. We're not looking to be, you know, like, um, you know, top tier. Because I don't think any of us believe it's about this system where one's better than the other. But do you see what Jerusalem Post is doing? So this is what people have noticed over the years, which has caused anger with people. Now, I, I think it's just juvenile because the very people that don't understand who Jesus is because they didn't accept him and still don't are trying to tell Christians what this means. And I just read what, no, God is the root. The Jews are the branches that have been falling off because they're not getting the nourishment from the root of God to the branches to stay on so they're dying and falling off and so in a last ditch effort god is trying to graft in the christians who do know jesus as the messiah jesus is was god incarnate they understand it they went a different path because of being sinners it's mostly how people get saved especially the gentiles and so in hopes that some of being you know, be, when you're around positive people, you tend to be more positive, right? That kind of thing. Graft in some of the Christians into the the, the root um, with the other branches that are still left that of the Jews that haven't fallen off in hopes of saving them, making them jealous. Oh, God's grafting us. Do you, I hope I'm making sense. I'm, I'm maybe confusing with, but... <laughs> But there's a big difference, okay? Most most people that understand the Holy Spirit, we don't have this juvenile attitude. We've always just saw Jews as the same. But you can see that exactly what God hoped would happen would happen. You can see the jealousy in this very article. <laughs>